The next time I lose power at my house, I'm going to be tempted to grab my AR. Because look at how much light this little guy is producing. And the best part is, this is a combo, so it's a grip plus light. Welcome to the channel, I'm Zach Hollenbaugh, and in today's video, we're going to be unboxing, installing, and testing out this grip sent to us from Viridin. And I want to give a huge shout out to Viridin for being today's video sponsor. Not only did they sponsor this video, but they also let me become an affiliate. So if you use my link that's in my link tree below, you'll be able to go to their website, check out any of their products. And if you end up buying something, I do earn a small bit of commission off of that. So not only do you get a cool product, but you're also supporting the channel. Jumping straight into the unboxing, you can see this is machined aluminum. It looks nice, has a nice black coating. And you don't have to look at the manual to notice that that spot right there is how you're going to charge this thing up. I'm not even sure if I'm allowed to call this an install part of the video because it's just two screws and two back plates that you put on. You could have this done in less than a minute. Anytime you ever put on an attachment, people are going to tell you, oh, it's too high or oh, it's too low. It's just a personal preference and this is what felt comfortable to us. When you're holding on to the grip, you're going to have a button that's going to be underneath the index finger. So you have instant access to light whenever you need it. You can just press down and that's going to turn on. We're going to go a little bit more in depth on the lighting features at the end of this video. But first I wanted to show you this power bank. You're not going to want to take your gun, put it by the wall and charge it like you would your phone. That's just going to be extremely inconvenient. So what you're going to do is charge that power bank. Then use that power bank with the charging cord. You can put it in your safe, let that charge overnight. Now we're going to come back to that flashlight, but let's give this product some love on the angled grip because this thing feels amazing. We all know shooting at the range is more fun with more people, so we have Connor here and he's going to make this thing sing. Now I know one or two of you are probably saying, you're aiming right at the camera guy, but don't worry guys, we're not that stupid. You can see that we have the camera set up on a barrel. And I know one of y'all are going to ask, where did he get his belt? I'm pretty sure it's Core Essentials, but I'm going to link his YouTube in the description below if you wanted to check him out. He's got some full videos going over his setup. And while we're talking about setup, he's using my AR right now, which is going to be the Brownells BRN180 upper. By this point of the video, you should know that the grip is going to be the 4LUX 2K angled grip light from Viridin. But you probably didn't know that the optic I'm using is also a Viridin product. This is going to be the closed emitter green dot. It's a reflex sight and it's the RFX 45. We have it on the high mount and I just love the way it looks. We did have this mounted on my shadow systems, which is a 9mm and it was great, but I really needed an optic for the AR. To finish off the AR build, we have a folding stock adapter from Sylvan Arms. If you wanted to check out any of the products, I'm going to have a link tree. It's going to be in the description below and in my bio. So if you go there, it's going to have the link to all of these websites. To be completely honest with you, I was a little bit skeptical on how good of a flashlight this was actually going to be. I love their optic, but you know, flashlight, that's a whole different game, and they absolutely nailed it. You probably didn't even notice, but in that circle of light, there's a spot that's not lit up, and that's because of where we have it mounted, there's going to be a shadow because that's hitting the rail. Now, this is in the middle of my living room in the middle of the night, and I throw on the light, and it just illuminates the whole room. And of course, there's a button on the side that you can press and the light's just going to stay on. So you don't have to constantly hold down that button to get continuous light. But you can press that button again and it will turn the light off. So that's pretty cool. There's going to be two different settings for this light. A high setting and a low setting. For the high setting, you're going to get around 2000 lumens, 83 minutes of battery life. And it's going to be able to shine 663 meters. Now the specs for the low side, it's going to be 750 lumens, 93 minutes of battery life, and it's going to be able to shine 378 meters. Now if you made it this far in the video, go ahead and smash that like button. It really tells YouTube that you like the video and helps share that to more people. If you had any questions, drop those in the comments below. If you wanted to check out any of the products we looked at today, I'm going to have a link to my link tree in my bio and in the description below. Thank you for watching the video, and I'm going to see you guys in the next one.